Well, welcome everyone uh, on this rainy day. Thank you for coming. President's Day, I guess it is, um, February 20th, 2017. We're still here. And uh, thank you all for coming. And I have a list here of, the, it's the 59th anniversary of the peace symbol. Uh, this was um, initiated by our friend Arnie Passman, who um, became ill, so he's not here. Uh, so we'll, but we're going to carry on. And uh, the 59th anniversary of the peace symbol. I don't know a lot of the history of the peace symbol, but I'm assuming from the flyer, I think it started in the late 50s in England, right? I sh How many knew what a semaphore was? <laughs> Karen did, <laughs> Francis. <laughs> well, the semaphore, as Ruth Bird just told us, is those signals that we go up the N and uh, naval semaphore signals for N and D. Wow, that is what the originator of the peace symbol in England in the late 50s. Uh, there was quite a ban the bomb movement. You must have been a little girl back then. Bertrand Russell and all the great people knew that this was the way we could end life on this planet. So, <laughs> anyway, so next is um, Francis Hilliard, our poet laureate of certainly the fellowship, if not all of Berkeley. <laughs> so, Francis, um, without further ado, and a great advocate for another great poet and writer, Mumia Abu Jamal, who sits in jail, right? Yes. Okay, my, my first one is an angry poem. The passing of the torch. Whose light do you stand in, flagrant monument, verdigreed lady, your feet preserved in brine, flame waterlogged? Have you birthed a monster to consume the earth? Bright lady for whom armies fall, green and, and greener by the blue, still sundering seas you tower. Where is the fire that bore you? Revolutions forge. You stand in your crown of thorns by the closing door. Now this one, um, I wrote about the Palestinian town of Janine. Uh, this was back, uh, a couple of decades, I think, uh, when there was a uh, campaign in Berkeley to uh, make it a sister city with Janine. Oh, yeah, the Jabalia, right? No, I think it was just Jabalia. Thank you. Janine was hit more recently. My poem says, oh, okay, 2002. Does anybody remember that one? Okay. I lost my house. It had a lovely garden. In it, I had my own room. The street next to it was not running sewage. I lost my name. The soldiers would not speak it. They called me a grasshopper. Without my name, no one could help me find my home. No one will recall the name of a grasshopper's father. No one can rebuild an unclaimed wall. I lost an album full of photos, buried in plaster and stone. But there's rubble everywhere, and I cannot pick out my own. I lost my voice long ago. I can think I am shouting for help, for mercy, that I am innocent. I don't know what you want. You stand too far away to hear. Or are these bullets your reply? I lost my child's red and yellow ball. He took it with it under fire on his way to school. We don't know if he made it there. I wish I could ask him what he wants for lunch tomorrow. I lost my silver-edged mirror. Silver one may not need, but I need the eyes of a friend to look into. And as Cynthia mentioned, I have poem about uh, Mumia Abu Jamal. Uh, it kind of said that uh, the death penalty was changed to life in prison, but it's been trying to uh, shorten that by uh, not giving him the medicine for hepatitis C. Uh, 
It was ordered by a court, but then they have to go through all the re-hearings. And Abu means father. Mumia is a mountain so high, death seeps slowly down his bones through his cloud-white cell. Mumia is a river. At night, he can hear himself think, splashing speculations and visions down silent canyons of steel. Mumia is aurora borealis, lighting up the heavens in strange patterns even he cannot explain. Mother loss, father hunger, abu, abu. Mumia looks in the mirror and sees his father. He looks around and sees boys who see him old, hair whitening above thunder cloud dreadlocks. Mumia is a, an opal in a river, flashing watery gleams as the river tumbles it over and over, thinking what to do with such a treasure. Mumia is a mirror, a volcano, the wind's laughter, a voice soothing the twilight. I repeat, Mumia is a mountain. Death slides down his back like an avalanche, uncovering spring. Fly out over the city, dove of light. Bring upon your wings our day's illumination. I have watched you arrive so many times, sneaking or strutting. I need you, but you need me as well. I pour good seed on the windowsill. Fly out over the city, dove of light. You will find many welcomes here. <laughs> 